The first practical helicopter incorporating all the pieces of the puzzle was German. The FA-61 was built by Heinrich Fokker in 1936. Its two articulated rotors were mounted on outriggers on either side of the fuselage. Hanna Reich was one of the test pilots. I asked to make a circle and I put the plane in the middle. I could look to see the wheel. Now, when giving gasoline, I saw when the stick wasn't just in the middle, the wheel went forward. And when, when I went the stick a little bit backwards, the wheel went backwards. So when I found, now the wheel is standing, I gave gasoline, with the gasoline, it went up. I went down again. Within three minutes, I had it. The propaganda value of a helicopter flown by an attractive woman test pilot was not lost on the Nazis. Hannah Reich flew the FA-61 every night for three weeks inside Berlin's sports hall during a trade fair in 1938. Her mastery of the art of hovering was tangible evidence of Germany's lead in vertical flight. Heinrich Fokker was not alone. By 1940, Anton Flettner had perfected a system of intermeshing rotor blades for his helicopter, the Colibri. It could reach 90 miles an hour in forward flight, and it was highly maneuverable. The Colibri could hover and even fly backwards, and it ranks as the world's first practical helicopter. It was developed for the German Navy as a shipborne submarine spotter, which could operate from the gun turret of a cruiser. The Navy ordered a thousand, but as Germany's industrial capacity declined at the end of the war, they were never produced. The same fate befell Heinrich Focker's Dragon. It had been developed from his pre-war designs as a troop carrier for the German army. Three were tested with light guns slung underneath. But at the end of the war, German helicopter technology passed to the Allies. War.